Why write a book about genomics? Well, we all have questions about ourselves, right? Who are we? Where do we come from? And we haven't been able to look at it genetically before now. We have consumer genomics suddenly. We can all go out and get tested, get our you know, um, whole genome <laughs> unfurled before our eyes, basically. So, and I had a lot of questions about mainly, you know, why am I such a depressed person? <laughs> why do I get stressed out? Uh, why am I such a sissy, right? So, and I was thinking about my whole family history, because if I go just a couple generations back, my great-grandfather um, shot himself out of depression, probably. His daughter, my maternal grandmother, was hospitalized for depression and almost got a you know, lobotomy because of it. Uh, my mother was pretty much depressed all my life, um, and, or all my childhood. And I was thinking, well, is, is, there, is there something more to it than just being raised in you know, depressive families? So I sort of went hunting to see, so what's, what's the heritability here? It turns out that depression is 40% heritable. That's a lot. And then I volunteered for this um, project at the Copenhagen University where they look at you know, genes that predispose for depression, anxiety, so on, and personality. And I went into this you know, uh, wanting to figure, find out, so what kind of, of genetics do I have? And it turned out it wasn't pretty, right? It really wasn't pretty. Um, but still, it, it gave me something to know this because, again, the knowledge is uh, empowering. You can, you can tell yourself, okay, there's something in my biology here that predisposes me to be really bad with stress, to be, you know, depressive, anxious, so on. In a way, this genetic knowledge actually helps me, you know, kick the pills basically, because what I'm getting much better at is knowing that there is something genetic to this. There is something in my biology that makes me, you know, see the world in a way that makes me depressed, right? That enables me to sort of back off and distance myself from situations and tell myself, hey, dampen down these, you know, depressive, anxious feelings. And, you know, it's, it's partly biological. And actually, I mean, that is a pretty good strategy because, you know, after taking these for, you know, some time, I've been able to kick the habit, basically. It's a difficult question, is genetic knowledge always positive? Mm, probably not. I would say that people who are very anxious about their health, probably, might have a hard time knowing that they're, say, predisposed or have a high risk of Alzheimer's or lung cancer or whatever it may be. For somebody like me, for whom knowledge is power, um, I think genetic information is, is not only good, it's, it's interesting and it, it gets you really fascinated by your own biology. And it makes you look at yourself in a different way. I mean, you are, or so all of us are, you know, wonderful biological organisms. Um, and getting into that, I think, is, is a really, it's a much better way to live. It's a much better way to look at yourself. Oh, I'm an intricate biological system. I can do things to myself because I know that I am a system. <laughs>